Hello there, and welcome back to my workshop. We're between projects right now, and before we uh, move on to my next project, I thought we'd do a little show and tell. So let me show you what that is. It's a shaker wall sconce. This is the very first project I did in woodworking. I did this about 12 years ago when I decided to start making things for around the house. It's a very simple design. It's got these four holes here, and that's so it could be hung from a peg. Peg rails and pegs are kind of a hallmark of shaker design. They believed in practicality and in simplicity and order. And we woodworkers like to think that we believe in those things. So we hang our tools from pegs. You can see it here. It's a great way to manage your stuff. It keeps things off the floor. It keeps the clutter off your workbench top. You can see everything and reach it and put it back. It's just a great way to go. I think that's why this appealed to me. If you decide to get into woodworking, pick something simple like I did. This is um, all butt joints and it's tacked together. Nothing could be simpler. And it's held together all these years. And I thought you'd like to see it in its natural habitat and that would be upstairs. So let's go up there and uh, have a look. And here we are in our dining room. And there's our sconce hanging from its very own peg. Let's give it a candlestick here. There we go. And a candle snuffer. And we really do light candles in this from time to time, holidays and special occasions. And a few years ago, about four years ago, we had a hurricane blow through this area and we lost power for five days. So we had to light our house with candles and it came in pretty handy. I was going to build a short peg rail, maybe three feet long, that went from about here to there. And then I decided, why not just build it in? That's what the shakers would have done. So I really like that. And then things spun wildly out of control. And I went all the way across the room to the corner here. And then, of course, I had to go all the way along the wall. And I went fully around the room. We went full-blown shaker here. And check out the hallway here. Peg rail goes the entire length of the hall. So that's 51 feet of shaker peg rail and 64 pegs in all. So uh, we really like it though. We hang hats, coats, scarves, mirrors, paintings. And at Christmas time we hang lights and we string them all the way around the room. And we just love it. So uh, it may not be for everybody, but uh, it works for us. Our little sconce project turned into a bigger project all the way around, but we really like it. So let's head back to the workshop. Safety and all that. See you back there. Okay, now I'm sure you're wondering, what are we doing next time? What's our next project? And I'll show you. I want to make a base for my tool chest. It's been sitting on the floor the whole time and it's just not working out. Right now I have it propped on these two Japanese toolboxes I made, but that's only temporary. I want to make a uh, chest of drawers, something maybe this wide and this high. And it will have three rows of drawers across like this and the rest of the way legs. Made of poplar, something very simple and small. I'm in the final design stages right now. And for me, design is the most important thing. It has to be useful for its purpose. It has to be well constructed and it has to look nice. So uh, when I'm designing something, I always uh, flood my brain with lots and lots of uh, images of things that I'm trying to make. And then I start sketching. Here are some sketches. It's a joinery thing I was working on. I just scribble away. Eventually I come up with measured plans. But that's how I get started. And uh, here's probably the best example right now of what we're going to be making. And proportionally, you can see it's going to be as high as it is wide. It's going to have a row of three drawers on the top, two in the middle, and a large one on the bottom. This is going to be my most ambitious project so far. It's going to involve web frame construction, sliding dovetails, some joinery I don't even know what I'm going to do yet. 
It's going to have a total of six drawers in three different sizes. So it's going to be uh, quite a project, but uh, I'll be really thrilled to get started because then I know I'm going to be having something that I've been looking for and hoping to have in the shop for a long time. So that's all next time. Um, I think that's it. You got anything, dear? Nope. Okay. We're good to go here. Thanks for stopping by and see you next time. Wasn't that great?